It's prom season, and for those who have already celebrated their 10th class reunion, they may be scratching their heads at some of the fashion choices. From big ruffles and bows to short dresses with cutouts, the dresses of today look very different than those of yesteryears. Prom actually dates back to the 1800s. This was uh, for graduating college students. This was their practicing of social etiquettes and uh, manners before they barge into the new phase in their lives. Um, and it wasn't until the 1930s uh, when it became a high school ritual. Terrell discussed the history behind formal wear. In 1930s, uh, the prom dresses were more about uh, being more sophisticated and glamorous. So um, there were a lot of, you know, uh, different styles. Uh, tulle and chiffon were uh, popular materials for that. Go into 1940s, uh, it changed a little bit because this is the World War II era and there was not a lot of availability of fabrics and materials, so people were making their own dresses and it was simpler, uh, sometimes shorter, uh, and more modest during that time. Then, once you get out of the war era, uh, this is 1950s, you start seeing more elaborate dresses. And those dresses had a lot of um, rhinestones and sequins, and uh, you see T-length dresses, uh, full skirts, and it actually became a little less modest. So the 60s, um, the waistlines raised a little bit. So you see the empire waist styles. Uh, in the 70s, they were a little more diverse. So you see minis and maxis uh, and so on. Uh, when you come into the 1980s, those were the times where the ruffles and the big bows were popular. Um, and couples in the prom would wear more matching colors, matching uh, outfits. 1990s, uh, Madonna was one of the influencers. So it was the Madonna style. Um, and they also had like the fluffy hair styles, fluffy dresses and so on. Coming to the 2000s, um, it was a little more minimalist, like the uh, spaghetti straps became more popular. And um, so, you know, it changes with time. Of course, you know, satin fabrics became more popular, more colorful styles after the 2010s. There is one thing that those in the fashion industry are noticing now. So since I took over the store five years ago, I've noticed a difference when girls come in and they say, hey, I saw this dress on TikTok. But instead of saying, uh, hey, Beyonce wore this style, I want this. It's, hey, this girl on TikTok wore this style, I want this. In Boardman, for WKBN, I'm Chelsea Simeon. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.